Oh, hey, everybody. Good morning. This is Paul. It's Monday morning. Uh, it's about 7.30 or so. It's about 7.30 in the morning. And uh, I'm here to give you my nickel's worth on something. And uh, we'll have to see whether it's true or not. We don't know. Um, I don't know what it is that's causing China to do what they're doing to their people. Because as you know, without getting into the whole thing, what is happening is beyond ridiculous. Um, they're talking now, um, Shanghai residents are um, a, a captive in their own homes. Um, if somebody is, if somebody is testing uh, positive, uh, the whole building has to stay inside, uh, and that's up from the floor. If you are, if somebody on your floor um, was positive, then you had to stay. But now it's anybody in your building. So imagine if there's a building with um, 640 people or 800 people or 1,200 people, you're done. And you know, you know that. You know that you're done. So let's. Uh, let me get to this and let me, let me have a look and let's see what they've got cooking over there in Shanghai and let's see what they've got. Okay, let's take a look and see what Shanghai is doing. Uh, a Shanghai uh, lockdown. We'll put that. Shanghai lockdown and then we'll see what's going on. Uh, it says um, uh, this was April 24th, so that's no good. Uh, April 12th, uh, they were already talking about pressure building. Uh, and this is reported by CNN. Uh, NPR, April 10th, uh, by NPR saying that uh, Shanghai locks down in an attempt to curb something, which we can't talk about. Uh, I'm looking to see if there's anything new on here. And uh, I don't see anything. Let's see. It says um, Fortune. Uh, magazine, I guess is what this is, and it's coming off of April 25th. I'll read it to you. This is, this is uh, I'm going to read this to you. Uh, lockdown, Shanghai residents are getting sick after eating government-issued emergency food supplies. Um, and you know, folks, I know that probably doesn't mean a lot to the mindless people that are tuning in here. And the reason I do this and I tell you that I'm God is because it allows you to make a quick U-turn and you can go off to some other news source that you think is uh, smarter than this idiot, right? So I just try to bring you my thoughts on this one way or another, and you can do whatever you like with it. Uh, when you get your public, uh, your society, your public into a position where you have to take care of them, it's pretty serious. And that's the one thing you wouldn't want to do because once you're in an emergency situation, it, it could, it could get bad and, and it's not something you want to do. It's only something that you would do if you absolutely had to do it. So it says here that they're getting sick over the government issued food supplies. Um, let's see what it says here. It says 25 million residents more is what I hear at least more than uh, more by a million. That's what I hear. Uh, okay, uh, they're they're banning these on Weibo, which is their equivalent of YouTube or something. I don't know. I've never been on it. After consuming food from government-issued care packages, a number of residents living in houses, compounds across several Shanghai neighborhoods have reported suffering from stomach pains and diarrhea. Okay, which sounds funny. It's not funny at all because this is the only food you have, and if you can't absorb the nutrients from it, I was looking at somebody, they got a, a family of two people, a, a, a father and a daughter, and they gave them a, one big carrot and a couple pieces of fish. I mean, folks, and some, some peach eye, uh, which is like uh, bok choy. It's the same thing. Actually, it's called bok choy. It's called peach eye in the Philippines. So there you have it. Okay. Uh, so uh, what do you think that's smart? Well, probably most of this is a mind game. That's what my guess is, but it's more than a mind game. The only thing that seems to make sense to me is that 
what China is doing, perhaps at the request of other countries, I don't know, maybe even ours, the United States, I don't know. If you shut down this kind of amount of, of people in the, in, in the uh, tens of millions, you're going to stop the usage of oil and gasoline. So why is that important? It's important because uh, right now Russia is uh, at war with somebody, okay? And there's a supply chain issue. And as long as that goes on, there may be deals in the works uh, from parties that we won't talk about uh, that are saying to keep the uh, use of oil and uh, fuel down. And that would certainly do it. And without doubt, it's a significant savings of oil for 25 or 26 million people. So... It's only a thought. I know a lot of you come out and say, oh, it's an insignificant number. It wouldn't make any difference at all. It'll make a difference, especially if it's going on since April and we're already in coming up to, to mid-May. Of course it makes a difference. It's We're in mid-May. Of course it makes a difference. You don't have to say that here. You just make the U-turn and you go back to somebody who you think is smart and isn't a, um, a theorist. Okay, we'll say that. Like somebody who comes up with conspiracies. I think that could very well be. So uh, they were talking about Beijing possibly going into lockdown. So I'll tell you what, folks, we're just going to run this into the news, okay? Because I don't think it's making any sense to, um, to just do this. We'll start with um, Bitcoin and then we will. Okay, Bitcoin is at $30,028. Uh, it was up and now it's down because it went up to almost 32000 Now it's down to thirty. OK, uh, looking here at the latest news here for you. Um, it's talking about Bitcoin's making a recovery, but it's going back down now. Um, I saw gold and silver are down again today. Um, I'll check it on Jam Bullion. I saw it at $12, uh, $20 and 66 cents earlier. It may be right around that area. OK, uh, gold uh, is down $10 to 1810. And silver's at $21.35, up a penny. So it's flat. Markets are flat, evidently, okay? Except the gold's down a little bit. Okay, now we'll go ahead and get into the news, and let's run the news. Oil, I saw down, okay? It was down about 1%. So let's go ahead and get into the news, and this will be brief. And uh, off we will go. All right, here uh, is the man that shot up the joint in uh, somewhere, I forgot now, but he shot things up. I, I don't know what to make out of it. Um, uh, you know, I don't know what to make out of it. It's getting worse and worse. It uh, may or may not be by design. We don't know, okay? Uh, of course, they're saying it's inspired by um, racism. Uh, Buffalo shooter uh, targeted black neighborhood. Uh, it says uh, global carnage, seen like Armageddon. Uh, government calls for social media crackdown, instruments of evil. Um, uh, we have another one here. One dead, multiple injured in California. Church shooting. Uh, this was a Taiwanese organization, uh, organi a church. Uh, according to the UK, that's what this says right here. I'm not sure that that's accurate. It could be. Although I will tell you that um, Russia uh, is not a tiny country. Um, you can bet that they had uh, ample amounts of soldiers, uh, ammunitions, and so forth. Okay. But it says here because it's not, uh, they're not the over emotional type. They get a lot of weapons, I'm sure, all right, for their, for preparing for war, which a lot of people think that they're uh, um, uh, paranoid. I don't think they're paranoid at all, if you want to know the truth, okay? So let's uh, keep going here. All right, we've got this brave hero. Um, oh, uh, McDonald's to permanently leave Russia. That's old news. I think they were doing that for a while. Eurovision winner leaves to join army of our brave soldiers 
in the Ukraine and their tattoos, right? Fantastic. And they're already beginning to build a, a escape hatch for that. Um, and I will show you that. It's saying that there's a severe pilot shortage. It's leaving the airline scrambling. Um, that's because they're very educated people. Pilots typically are very educated and they do not want to do this. You understand? They are among the highest educated people among them. The highest social rankings, certainly. Okay, let's just keep going. Um, Midterm hopes bedeviled by signs of economy and distress. Evidently, a lot of people in the United States are leaving the U.S. to go to Portugal to live. Um, <laughs> they were, they were a Bel Air mansion that was listed at $88 million flopped at auction, seller furious. Arby's manager seen on video peeing in milkshakes. Um, fortunately, I didn't eat yet. Americans feeling more pain at the pump. It's four fifty a gallon. Uh, Kawathorn or whatever his name is, that wheelchair bound guy. I, you know, I'm coming down on him, and I probably shouldn't. Uh, first of all. Anybody that's in a wheelchair is going to have a hard time exercising. I can tell you how hard it is. And he's in pretty good shape. So maybe I shouldn't be coming down on the poor guy. I don't know. All right. Anyways, uh, I'm just kind of tired of hearing about the orgy things. Um, he's already claimed that he can't do anything. He's paralyzed. So I don't know. But uh, maybe that's only part of the festivities. Um I heard something on this today. Uh, MAGA tar targets Barnett. It's a black woman who's a Republican or, or conservative. Uh, she's running against uh, Jimmy Hoffa there. Okay, let me show you. It's this woman, and she's running against Jimmy Hoffa there, who's Oz, who's been a hardcore leftist his whole life, and now he's uh, 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 redone himself uh, into a conservative Republican. And I don't buy it one bit. And uh, old uh, Donald Clinton, ex-president ex Donald Clinton there, Donald Trump, for all you people that don't know he's a Trojan horse for the Democrats. Hey, you're turning right around. This guy was making a little bit of sense there, right? Well, sorry, folks. I call it the way I see it. All right? Um, he wants Oz in there because he thinks that this Dr. Oz can win against the Democratic uh, challenger. And they don't think that the woman here can win. She's a black woman from, I forget where this is, North Carolina or something. But the problem is, um, evidently, she has a, a, a questionable background, is what they're saying. Which, at this point, I really don't even care. I don't even care. I do not want Oz in there. It's the same thing as, as having Gofart in there with the Supreme Court. You put Gofuck in there, or Go Such or whatever the hell his name is. He was a leftist. You could take one look at Gorsuch and you knew he was a violent leftist. What and, and, and Trump puts him in there. Well, better to have that in there than somebody worse. Who could be worse? You want to see Gorsuch? Supreme Court Gorsuch. You want to see this guy? Images of Supreme Court Gorsuch. Okay, folks, if you can't figure out that that's a leftist right there, a hard leftist. We're not talking about uh, somebody who's like a Democrat moderate. You're talking about a far hard leftist. I, too complicated for me to explain to you. All the Republicans that might have peeked in here are all now turning away to go to Mike Lindell. Because Mike Lindell, right? Mindless idiots. So... I mean, you can take one look at this guy, and, he, and he's uh, changed his look. Three years ago, uh, he didn't even look like this, okay? Three years ago. I'm trying to show you a picture. You could take one look at this guy, and you could tell he was a leftist. Yeah, he's, they're, they're making him look like it now. 
But what about four years ago? Four years ago, he looked like a solid leftist. Yeah, the three the the three stooges here: Amy Grant, um, uh, 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 Kavanaugh. Pardon me for being a douchebag in my Corvette. It, it's too stupid to talk about. You think you're going to get those people approved by the Democrats? It's because the Democrats know that they're Democrats. They're harder leftists than the Democrats are. Pointless. Anyways, they've changed him. They've uh, made him look more staunch and conservative. You took a look at him. The pictures that I saw of him when they put his ass in there, he looks like a hardcore leftist that came out of Berkeley. Trust me when I tell you. I don't care what you brain-dead idiot Republican Trump idiots think. How do you like that? I know. Most of you are taking a U-turn already long ago. Go to somebody smart, like that Steve Kane there on the radio I was listening to this morning. That's how I found out about uh, how the, the, the woman has a military background, but evidently she didn't do none too good is something. Either she didn't go or she got dishonorably discharged or something because they're afraid of her going in. That's what it is. But I'd rather take a chance on her than Oz. Oz is just going to fulfill the violent leftist agenda. That's all he's going to do. Uh, locals in Outer Banks on edge after more homes collapse into ocean. Well, that's what happens when you uh, build houses on prefaces. You know, on these, um, I forget what they call them, um, uh, the, the, the uh, bluffs or whatever the hell they call it. What do you think is going to happen? They fall down. I, I remember when I was a little boy, um, I, I, I remember on the right-hand side of the road as we drove from Durham, Connecticut, uh, going into town, I, or somewhere right around there. I remember there was a, a lake there. can't remember the lake. Dooley Pond. I forget what the name of it was. Maybe that was it. And there was a house there for years that was falling in. It was collapsing off the side of the mountain. It was, I don't know if that was called Dooley Lake. Let me ask. Dooley Lake, Connecticut. Dooley Lake, Durham, Connecticut. Showing pictures that match. I wonder. Anyways, it was this lake. It was right along the side of the road, and there was a house. Right on the side of the road. I don't know how the house was standing up, and I think it was starting to come down. But um, I don't understand it. But um, that's here nor there, and we'll keep going. Let's get back to the news. Let's get back to the news. Sorry, folks, we'll finish this up. We're at 18 minutes already, and we will get going now. Okay? Finish this out. Pope is in a wheelchair. A uh, legal team is telling Elon Musk that he violated the law by backing out of the deal with Twitter. I would think so, because you kind of look at everybody's finances that you're buying, you know, and then you don't you back out and then, you know, all the finances, you know, all the inner workings. It just doesn't seem like it's it's on the up and up to me. Uh, it says that the thing that's been going on for two and a half years widens embrace of long lasting drugs for addiction, mental illness. So that's certainly a byproduct of what's going on. Uh, student, students protest lockdowns at elite Beijing University. Okay, so evidently Beijing may have gone into it. We'll have to see. All right, students protest lockdowns at elite Beijing University. Group of students at the camp of China's elite Peking University protested uh, lockdown requirements, strict ones, on Sunday, arguing that the measures were poorly communicated and unfair. Government quickly moved to censor videos and photos that spread on China's Internet. It's exactly what they're doing here. Uh, we won't go on anymore with this because it's pointless. Harsh quarantines in Shanghai, which led to shortages of food and medical care, also prompted sporadic protests over the past two months. What do you want? Right? That, uh, that's what they're doing here. Anything you say, 
can and will get your channel removed so you don't talk about it. All right. So Johnny Depp is a mess, but it looks like he's winning over that woman is what it looks like to me. And um, Ellen DeGeneres, he's preparing to leave television, okay, crying all the way. Um, that's it, folks. Take care. Love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.